my name is Peppe, Giuseppe D'Angelo for the friends. I'm an Italian living in the UK, so enough said about that. Uh, small disclaimer, uh, this is going to be like a slightly political talk. So what follows are just my personal thoughts and opinions, not necessarily the ones of like my community or my employer especially. Yeah. Uh, but again, I want to talk a little bit about the elephant in the room, as I noticed yesterday. What is the elephant in the room? Uh, I work with Qt. In case you don't know, Qt is a very powerful uh, C++ framework for cross-platform UI development. It's used everywhere in all sorts of industries by many companies. Uh, just a quick poll, how many of you know about Qt? Yeah, holy, yeah. So how many of you actually use Qt? I hope I just upset. Yeah, so good, like we are in the two digits percentage, right? Uh, so here's something I noticed about the Qt community when it comes to reaching out to the C++ community, to the bigger one. So exactly uh, last, Thursday, I think, I sent out an email on the Qt interest mailing list. Uh, I was flying here for giving a training about Qt. I was saying, hi, I'm Sip Picon. Is there anybody around? And the response from the Qt, com for the Qt community was actually overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. So exactly one reply uh, by Charlie. I don't know if he's around. Uh, hi. <laughs> and I started wondering, uh, why is that? I mean, what's going on? Why, why you use Qt and... <laughs> You know, I didn't get that much feedback. So I started thinking perhaps it's about, you know, the contents of this conference. Uh, you know, there are that many talks and that many talks about Qt. Actually, I should increase that number by one since it was mentioned right, right here right, you know, in the previous light ring. Uh, but yeah, that's a bit like a, so it makes me a little bit sad, but that's a kind of childish excuse, right? This is a big conference. There are many kinds of audience we, you, can, you can't expect here to talk about each and everybody's favorite tool. Uh, and yeah, so I don't think that should be a sad face, it should be a happy face. However, I also did like an inverse test. Uh, next month in San Francisco, there is the big Qt conference, it's called the Qt World Summit. Uh, so there's plenty to talk about Qt there, and I was curious how many talks about Qt and like modern C++, more techniques are there? Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, one over 60, at least at, from what I can tell from the, uh, from the website. So that, that makes me really, really sad. And <laughs> I was starting, okay, what's going on? I mean, there's these two communities. I mean, can, can we just be friends or no? Yeah. What, what happened, really? Uh, well, I have my theory, but as such, it's a theory, and I would like to reach out to this big community if you have better opinions of what ha actually happened, uh, why these two things uh, got split up. What I believe happened is that Qt is somehow guilty at isolating itself. Uh, many years ago, uh, Qt has this enormous not invented here syndrome. It reinvented all over again instead of saying to people, uh, you know what, it's not the case that we reinvent shared pointers. Just use one from Boost, they're good enough. And now use one from C++ in Evan, they're good enough. Uh, there's, there's been very little participation in the language, library centralization process. You don't hear from, you know, you don't hear the cute story when we do those boards. I, at least I can't find a single contribution there. Possibly it's not evolving as fast as C++. That's why it's just guilty, between quotes. Uh, there's just a finite development bandwidth we can put in there, so we can't, do as, we can't go as fast as we could. But I know that if I go down this way, start listing things, I would be probably start pointing fingers and probably arguing with people about that. If something I learned at this conference is that if I start arguing, <laughs> yeah, I'm losing. So let's, let's not go there. Let's tr try to change the mental frame. Uh, let's try to change what happened. Like, what is the mental frame? What's, what's wrong? Really, I can't figure it out. Really, I'm trying. Uh, are Q developers afraid of modern C++? What's to be afraid of, right? It's the best language ever. Uh, are just C++ developers using Qt ashamed about using Qt? Say, yeah, that's the thing we, my boss makes me use. I don't really want to use it. Or what? Or is it just UI application development just not that interesting? I don't believe so. Everybody's using a UI on your computer. I'm pretty sure that some of you are actually developing UIs with Qt. And, you know, I think it is interesting. Uh, so, yeah, I believe that this is actually hurting everybody. Uh, this is hurting the community of Qt developers the community gets cut off from the bigger C++ community, and therefore they don't get over here, they don't give talks, 
and therefore Qt doesn't get enough visibility in, Z in the C++ community, and therefore people think, oh, well, look, Qt is not represented. Let's not go there. Let's not submit talks, and vice versa. You know, endless recursion, stack overflow. But also, this is hurting the C++ community because there are so many ideas that Qt contri could contribute back, so much feedback, so many ideas. So I think you know, we should work together. I don't know what's happening. Uh, really, Qt is striving to be an open, inclusive, fair, and meritocratic community. Uh, how do we connect them back? Well, that I don't know. So uh, I would say that if you're lucky enough to find someone you can tolerate, you know, sync your LC and don't let go. Yeah, and yeah. Please get in touch if you have any opinions, any idea. My name is Pepe. Thank you for having, having me here tonight.